The cylinder and the ribbon are going to be pretty fun because they'll create a bunch of different strange things. For instance, if you wanted to do a scroll, you can do your ellipse, bring it in a bunch, and then immediately begin converting it to form. Be sure you get this overlap down here for that. And then all you have to do is drop down some verticals and you very quickly created a scroll. You can do, uh, again, the most valuable thing in existence right now, which is your toilet paper roll. is basically this, it's just it's all wound up tighter, and then when you need to string off some toilet paper, all you have to do is that, and from there you can add that little piece that always tears off annoyingly. By coming off the back with a ribbon, wrapping it back around, And then feeling where this ribbon's coming back behind there, going back and connecting it. You can do the treads on any kind of machine or mechanical device by doing things like this. Again, essentially it's just this ribbon that's wrapping around and you can articulate it, make the treads sink down a little bit, and then it becomes more ribbony. You can do things like rope by taking your rope and bulging straight off. These are basically just ribbons that I'm giving a little bit of dimension to. You can do things like trees, because your tree is going to grow. And trees always grow kind of in these gentle spirals, and they'll come across. And you'll see the bark pattern kind of align with these spirals, and each of these spirals winds up all the way down at the base, going out and becoming roots. And going into the ground and then eventually they'll spiral off and become branches and so on. You can do things like snakes with a ribbon. Your snake does things like this. You can draw out your ribbon make it come to a point at the end so you have a tail, curve it so you have a head and then you can give the ribbon dimension. So at each of these transition points, you can kind of make your snake form happen. And then all you have to do is connect the dots. And you have a snake. There you have it. So that's the power of the ribbon and cylinder combo.